Welcome to Chapter 2, Part 1. In this chapter, Part 1, we are going to focus on learning how to put in our meta data tags and add a comment. To do this, we're going to have to get our My First Web Page folder from our Chapter 1 folder and put it into Chapter 2. So to do that, we're going to do flag E, and then that's going to open up our computer dialog box. And we want to go and we want to find our flash drive. Once uh, I open up my flash drive, I want to work my way to my Web Design 1 folder. And then I'm going to select my Chapter 1. And I'm going to select my first web page and Control c it so I can copy it. Then if I go up to my paths, I'm going to click on Web Design 1 here. And then if I haven't created a Chapter 2 folder yet, I should do so. If I already have one, then we're just going to double click and go inside. And then we can do Control v to paste that folder, my first web page, right in there. So now that I have my first web page in there from Chapter 1, I'm going to double click and select the index.html. Then I'm going to right click and I want to edit with Notepad++. So if I look at this document when it opens, here is my home page, my index.html, and I have my head and I have my body. So I have my basic shell structure here. So now I'm going to go and actually add my first meta tag, which is my title tag. So if I go to line 9, put my cursor at the end and hit enter a couple times, I can type in my meta tag. And then remember we have two attributes that go with the meta tag. So we're going to type in name equals, that, and then in quotation marks, we're going to type in title. Remember, this title is not the same as line 7. Line 7 puts the title on the browser tab. This is going to provide information for a web search for our search engines. And then I'm going to type in content, which is, which is my second attribute. And then I want to mark this as my metadata tag. I'm going to put a couple dashes in there. And then I'm going to type in the name of my web page. Then I'm going to space and close it out. So that completes my title tag. I'm going to hit enter a couple times. Our next one is our description tag. So we want to put in meta name equals. Oh, we got to go back up here. Notice that because I did not put in my closing quotation marks here, the color did not change back to blue. So I have to go back up here and close out my first web page. Notice now I get my red color. And then I'm going to do this DESC, which is for the description. Remember, all meta tags have two attributes. So I'm going to type in content equals. And then I want to describe this web page. Remember, the search engine is going to use this in its search. So the more information you can provide for it, the better. So I'm going to type in this is my first web page. I hope you enjoy it. I'm going to do space and a back and a right angle. So now I have my description in for my search engine. I'm going to hit enter twice. And now I'm going to type in meta name equals. And this time we're doing a robot. And we know that the, what the robot does is tell the browser or the search engine how it should index and search for this particular website or web page. So we're going to type in content. And we're just going to use the standard uh, method of, of actually accessing and indexing a page. So we're going to type in index comma follow. And we'll close that out. Oops. So we have our three pages in there. Let's go ahead and save this. And we're going to run this by launching it in Chrome. And what you're going to see is that nothing really has changed 
Um, this is still our text on the page. We haven't added anything. And that's because what we've just done largely is talking to the search engine, telling it how to perform the search and providing some information for that search. So now we're going to go down. We want to add a comment. Um, we can add a comment anywhere. So why don't we do this? Let's go up to the top to line one. It's always good when you turn in your work or whatever work you're doing that you put your name in here. So we're going to hit the enter key a couple times and we're going to put in our exclamation point then our two dashes. You notice everything has turned green on the screen. That's because we have not closed out this comma tag yet. So I'm just going to type in my name so that I know that that's, this is my work. Let's get back up there. Then I'm going to go dash, dash, and then I'm going to close it out with the right angle. And you notice that everything returns back to that. Now if I save it, and then I go and run it and launch it through Chrome, I won't see my name up here at all. But let's go back one more time. Since we don't have any information on this page, I want to kind of show you a little bit more um, how the, the comment works. Where we have the information that will be displayed on the actual web page between the two body pages, let's turn that into a comment. You're going to see that this was originally on the page. Once we add a comment, it's going to actually remove itself from the page. So, Now let's go ahead, after we added our exclamation point, our two dashes at the beginning and let's go ahead and save this. What you're going to find is when we get to run this, the information is actually gone. So I notice I have a little error here, so we have to figure out why I have that error. So we're looking at what I put in. All right, so let's do this dash dash and put a right angle in. So now I have that fixed. So if I go and save it and run it again, um, when I run it, my correction should be fine. Notice it's gone now. So I had a little error here. And then this is what it used to look like when I actually had text on here. But now since I put that comment in, it's gone because comments do not display on the actual web page. So now you have learned how to put in your metadata tags and you have learned how to add a comment. All right, so what we're going to add here is, instead of the information we display, we're gonna change that so that when we come back in here, we know where to start. So we're gonna um, start, start here for part two. So I know where I want to start. Then I'm gonna go up and save it. And I'll do one more check to make sure everything's good and all my colors there we go. We are in great shape. So oh, thanks for watching and I hope you were successful at adding in your metadata tags. Once you finish this, go on to part two. Thanks so much.